Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Caden Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. Today I want to talk about whether you're working the three zones. Now, there's three zones in just about every self-defense. They may not call it the zones, but that's what I call them. You have a green zone, a yellow zone, and a red zone. So basically, when I'm talking about are you working the three zones, that means are you working in close, midway, and far away because your attacker can go pretty quick from one zone to another and being that your cane is not just a long-range self-defense tool it's also a midway and a in close now just to cover the three zones all the techniques that I've shown or whether you're learning them through my RDT system of cane self-defense or you're learning them through cane masters or you're learning them through any other systems by anybody else you want to take those techniques and put them in the three zones now first zone should be the zone you always want to keep people at and that's the green zone and what that basically means is they're pretty far away from me so if that person had steps toward me I can step back so I still have quite a bit of distance the next zone is a yellow zone to where technically that person's really not in arm reach of me. They look like they're a pretty good distance, but yet one lean or step and they can get me. That's the yellow zone. The third zone is the red zone. And obviously the golden rule, if I can touch them, they can touch me. So that's your three different distance. Green, you have enough room to prepare to maneuver, to prepare to do something whether you have to basically get your cane, get back, be ready, or pick up your cane and close the gap so you can strike. So the green zone is the zone you always want to be at. You want to work that green zone to where, you know, someone steps in, how much distance do I still have? Can I fight or flight situation? So work some of those techniques preparing for that. Your yellow zone. Now that goes both ways. That person doesn't look to right on top of me, but yet one step and they can reach me. Well, that also means in my yellow zone, I can reach out with my cane and strike them. They may have maybe a knife in their hands, maybe their fists are up, but I still have reach. So work whether you're working a thrusting motion or a swinging motion, work your yellow zone with your techniques. Last one is your red zone. Red zone, obviously, I can hit them, they can hit me situation. That's where I work my enclosed techniques with my cane. <clears throat> now, while you're practicing all your techniques, and I'm not gonna go into a lengthy video on how to do all these different techniques, but to give you a quick idea, you could go from a red zone into a yellow zone and into a green zone. One more time. I'm in close, this just got bad. I strike in with any technique there is, whatever technique I wanna use, cause I'm in that red zone. That individual is gonna to start to back up. I can back up, now I'm in my yellow zone. I can come through with another technique if necessary. Then I go into my green zone to where I have enough time to either start to get away or kind of situation, do I need to go back in or not and get away only or so my green zone is kind of my thinking, what am I going to do at the end zone? Like, you know, now that could go simple this way too. I'm in my green zone, all of a sudden they had stepped into making it a yellow zone, and then I close the gap into a red zone and strike them. <clears throat> so if you're not working the three zones, or you're not incorporating it into your training, you need to. So remember the three zones, and what I call them is, Green zone, yellow zone, red zone. Just think of a stoplight. Green go, yellow I gotta be cautious, red there's, I'm stopping. But in this situation, red trouble, yellow I gotta be cautious, green I got a little bit of time to do something. So work those zones into your training system, make them yours. Gary Hernandez and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you.